In today's video, let's talk about iPhone Focus, which is like a new feature in the latest iOS. And I mean, it's not really that new anymore, but people use it a lot. And as you can see right here, I am currently in the work focus mode. You can see it right here at the bottom, but I can also just check it out in the control center. So for example, you can see you can go like this and now have the work, do not disturb, sleep, driving, personal. These are all of the focus modes, which I can customize depending on what I want. So for example, here is the focus mode. I'm gonna click on the three dots. I mean, I turned it off right now, but if I click on the three dots, you can see that it just shows me like multiple other things to turn it on for a certain period of time. But at the bottom, you have the settings page. Click on settings and you're going to get to this right away. If you don't want to go there through the control center, you can just easily go to the settings like this and find the focus mode. It's right here. So you can tap on it. And here are all of your focus modes created. Let's take a look at the work as an example. So you can see that I chose the people that I want to receive notifications from. That means that I chose a number of people, which are my close contacts. When they call me, it gets through. It doesn't block them. And also some apps, which are allowed to give me and uh, send me notifications. So I can get it from uh, Gmail, Calendar, eBay, Etsy, whatever. And also time sensitive notifications. So if uh, some a notification, if Apple evaluates some messages or notifications as time sensitive, it will also push them through and it will not block them in my work focus mode. So in terms of customization, there are multiple things to customize. So you can customize the settings and the wallpapers on your lock screen, home screen, and even on the watch face. So you can choose which of your lock screen is going to be dedicated or part or connected to your work focus mode. So this is definitely very useful. The same thing applies to the home screen so you can see I have a couple of home screen pages and I can choose which one of them are going to be visible when I turn on the work mode if I give you an example let's say that you want to keep on this page because here you have the battery widgets and you need to see the battery status when you're in work for example you also add another page where you have gmail or work business related apps so when you turn on focus do not disturb uh, work mode, then those pages that have to do something with your work aren't going to be visible. It's up to you to decide which one of them are going to be like ready. If you want to add uh, some new ones, just come back and hold down and click on add and play around with it, whatever. You can see that I chose the focus mode uh, home screen and it's the only one right here. I only have this page, so no other apps, no other pages are invisible in here. If I come back to the settings and let's say that I'm gonna add the one more page in here, for example, uh, this one right here with the Apple TV app, for example, I'm gonna come back. You can see this page turns on automatically when work focus mode is on. So, okay, and now I have this page as well as this page. So when you are working, you can choose which pages are gonna be visible. Plus also an Apple Watch face, which is um, like, yeah, Apple Watch is deeply connected to iPhone. So I can choose that during work focus time, I wanna have this infograph so now i have this watch face and i can customize further so we chose uh, the home screen pages we can choose lock screen as well or uh, the watch face and now we can set a schedule which is really important like right now i have uh, some options here so from 9 a.m till 12 p.m this is going to be turned on and then again from 1 p.m till 3 p.m which is my time during which i work let's say i start working from 9 a.m to like uh, the noon to then I have lunch for like an hour till 1 p.m. And then I have like uh, two additional or three hours, let's say, for some work. So I'm going to choose from 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. to turn it on. You can add as many as you want, but it's not just related to time. You can choose location. Let's say that you have, uh, you don't work at home, but you have a dedicated office and you can choose that location. So when you get there, the work mode is going to be enabled or by an app. For example, when you open up an email app, then all of the stuff is just going to get like muted, all notifications, everything. This can be especially useful or smart activation, like it learns your habits and the way you commute to work and stuff. So you can turn that on as well. Besides that, you can delete the focus altogether or customize filters. Like you can choose what happens when 
you just turn on stuff so there are plenty of options you can just turn on that at the low you can choose that the low power mode gets enabled or dark mode or some other things in calendar mail for example in messages and you're going to filter notifications and stuff so it's going to be like really useful option for you plus another option is to allow sharing across devices that means that your Mac, your uh, Apple Watch, your iPad, or any device that you have in your Apple ecosystem is gonna like take uh, the focus mode that you turn on and it's just like synced together. So it's definitely very useful if you have multiple devices. And one last option is the focus status. That means that for all of your work focus modes or whatever you use, if you decide to share it, that means that when you send an iMessage, the iPhone is going to let the other person know that you are in the focus mode. And that's why you're not replying or seeing the messages. It can be useful, but it just lets other people know what you're doing. So perhaps just turn it off or keep it however you want. But this is an option as well. Hope this video helped you out. For more content and videos like these, make sure to subscribe to Foxtech and check out the next video about the focus mode because I think you're going to find it valuable. Thanks a lot again. See you guys there.